Exercise 10-17, measuring the cost of a plant asset. So, Lawson Furniture purchased land paying $65,000 cash. They signed a quarter million dollar note payable. In addition, Lawson paid delinquent property tax of five grand, title insurance costing four grand, and nine grand to level the land and remove an unwanted building. The company then constructed an office building, cost $400,000. It also paid $54,000 for a fence around the property, $12,000 for a sign near the entrance, and $8,000 for special lighting of the grounds. So our requirements. We're going to determine the cost of the land, the land improvements, and the building. And which of these assets will they depreciate? So the first requirement, determine the cost of land, land improvements, and building. So first we have to figure out the cost of the land. So the cost of the land will be the actual cost of land plus any other payments we had to make to get the land ready to use. So we need to include the $65,000 cash, the $250,000 note payable, but also we had to pay the property tax because without paying the property tax, we would not be able to get the land ready to use. We had to pay the title insurance and we paid $9,000 to level the land and remove an unwanted building. So before we could use the land, we had to remove the unwanted building. So this $9,000 cost is also included in the cost of the land. So we need to add up 65,000 plus 250,000 plus the 5,000 for the taxes, plus the title insurance for 4,000, and then the 9,000 to level the land and remove an unwanted building. So if we add those all up, we get $333,000. Nice work. Next, we need to calculate the total cost of the land improvements. So the land improvements are the $54,000 for the fence around the property, the $12,000 for a sign near the entrance, and $8,000 for special lighting of the grounds. So we add those all up and we get $74,000. So you might be asking, well, why do we have to keep track of these land improvements separately from the cost of the land? Well, remember the land will never wear out, so it will not be depreciated. But these land improvements, will they last forever? Will that fence last forever? No. Will that sign last forever? No. Will the special lighting of the grounds last forever? No. These things will eventually wear out, so they will have to be depreciated. And because they will be depreciated, they have to be kept track of separately from the land. The next question, what's the cost of the building? That's easy. They constructed an office building at a cost of $400,000. And then the last question, which of these assets will loss and depreciate? So remember, you only depreciate items that will wear out over time. So will the land wear out over time? No. Will the land improvements like the fencing last forever? No. So you have to depreciate that. And the cost of the building, I mean, excuse me, the building will, will not, uh, duh, the building will not last forever. So we have to depreciate it. So the two things that we will depreciate are the building and the land improvements. So a thing that uh, students forget quite often is that land, they often think that you need to depreciate land, but you do not need to depreciate land because it will not wear out.